Today, I'm so nervous. It's been a long, long time without doing it in English. So I'm holding myself, and with your help, I can do it. We can do it. All right? Are we together? Okay. Do you have your Bible with you? So let's open in Romans chapter 1. If you can put in the screen for me, please. Chapter 1, verse 1. But I know there is in the screen, it's in the screen, but if you can, just open your Bible, okay? You can read in different uh, versions, that's not a problem. So it says, I, Paul, I am a devoted slave of Jesus Christ on assignment. Authorized it, authorized it as an apostle to proclaim God's words and acts. I write this letter to all the believers in Rome, God's friend. I, Paul, I am a devoted slave of Jesus Christ. Can we repeat something with me? I am what the Bible says that I am. I speak what the Bible says that I speak. That. I do what the Bible says that I do. Good. Question. Are you though? Do you? Today, I want to talk to you, who are you? As to your friend, who are you? Come on, ask, who are you? Back in the upside down camp, who was there? Upside down camp. Woo! The next one is coming, huh? What? <laughs> In the upside down camp, we talk about trauma. Is that correct? Trauma, trauma, fear, depression, being brave. And we also talked about anxiety. Remember that? Guys, are you with me? We talk about anxiety. So what is anxiety? Anxiety. What is that? What is this? Who can help me? What is anxiety? I know I'm not spelling correctly, but what is anxiety? Come, come on, come on, come on, guys. Feeling nervous. What else? Tell me. not excited it's anxiety no, no problem anxiety anxiety I, am I saying ro uh, right anxiety anxiety sorry anxiety <laughs> anxiety is the pain and the suffering about something in the future so something what didn't happen yet but we are already suffering about it okay and one of the causes the roots of the anxiety and of all the suffering suffering is related to one question who am i or who am i going to be so to put some context about this subject and what we are going to talk about tonight, I would like to tell you three lies, okay? Let's start with the first one. This is upside down, this is not a lie. 
this is the life. We are just what we do. This is a lie. Everyone knows you for what you do, right? For example, if you are a student, some people knows you as a student. Is, that, is this correct? Okay. For example, Pastor Andre. We know him as Pastor Andre because he's a pastor. Okay. Sometimes we do s the same with us. For example, in my situation, I can say, hi, I'm Nicholas. I'm the marketing guy. Or I can say, I'm the Nicholas. I'm Nicholas. I'm the upside down leader, youth leader. Or sometimes I can say, ah, I'm Nicholas. I'm Giovanna's husband. husband. We put labels on us. Do you agree? Talk to me, guys. Do you agree? But the problem is, when we stop to do this, this job, this position, what are we? Who are we? So with the sins, it's the same. For example, I can say I'm a liar, I'm fake, I'm promiscuous. But in the reality, I'm not that. I'm doing that. So the first lie the word says to us is, we are what we do. This is a lie. I was talking to Pastor Andre the other day, and he said he was meeting other guy, and he was about to introduce himself to this guy, and he said, oh, hi, I'm Andre. And the guy said, oh, I'm Pastor, Pastor so-and-so. I won't say his name. I believe when Pastor Andre, his mother, got him, he said, oh, this is Andre. She didn't say, this is Pastor Andre. Because Pastor is what he is doing. But he is Andre. Do you understand? The problem, when you come to me and tell me you are what you do, the problem is you are becoming what you are doing. And when you stop doing that, who are you? Because you still have an identity. Identity. You still have one, right? Do you know any influencer these days who was like in the surfing, in the hype, was so famous and then lost everything? Do you know? On TikTok, Instagram, I don't know. Do you know them? For example, One, Dir One Direction. Where are they guys? These guys? I don't even know. Jonas Brothers. But why I'm talking about them? Because every media, someone is trying to influence you and me, and they, they are doing that so good, so well. For example, uh, there is a research in America and UK, and it says for each 10 children, three want to be an influencer in the future. Most of them want to be a YouTuber. Yes, I tried to be a YouTuber. Such a shame. But everyone in this place, nowadays, is being influenced for someone. Do you know that? Okay, Nicholas, what is the biggest pro problem with that? Who can help me with that? The biggest problem, problem is not that you were influenced by someone. 
you can copy, for example, style, hairstyle, outfit, uh, haircut, shoes, whatever. The problem is which parameter parameters parameters we are using to define what is the word following in this influence or not. Did you understand what I said? One side, I have the influencer. The other side, I have parameters. Which parameters I'm comparing to say, oh, this is good, this is not good. So from December, from today until December, we're gonna talk about influence, okay? What is the first lie? Tell me. Let's go to the next one. Influence. We are just what we get. Or we are, we are what we got. Or we are what we achieve. It works for that person proud of themselves, for people proud of themselves, who graduated in the university, for example. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait a minute. Nicholas, I graduated in medicine, University of Oxford, I'm the man. Or, whoa, 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 do you know who I am? I am, I have built a big company, some big tech, and I'm so rich. Quick question, are professions and finances long lasting? Yes or not? Come on guys, talk to me. You're so quiet tonight. Is it long lasting? No. So if it's not long lasting, this is not who you are. As I said, you can be a doctor today, but tomorrow you might not be anymore. You can be rich today, you can be rich today, but tomorrow you may not be anymore. So we can't define ourselves with what we got, with what we have achieved. What is the third and last lie? We are what we get, what we have, what I have in position. I am just what I have. How many times we say, I'm rich or I'm poor? I know, sometimes you don't, obviously, you're not gonna say to, to your friend, to your family, I'm rich, I'm the big boss, or I'm poor. You're gonna say to yourself. Do you think on it? Do you think on it? Talk to me guys, come on. Yes or not? There's a guy in Brazil, a businessman called by Flávio Augusto. Who knows him? Flávio Augusto. Anyone? Thank you, one DM. Flávio Augusto is the owner of the mo one of the most important English school in Brazil. And he used to be an owner of the Orlando City, the soccer team, the football club. Do you know who is Flávio Augusto now? Okay, no problem. He says some, say something that we can apply in your life. He says, stability doesn't exist. Nicholas, why are you saying that? Because today you can have money, the day next you can have no money. Happened to you? Happens to you? Happened a lot to me. Today you can be healthy, but tomorrow you can get a flu, hay fever, 
Wow, allergy. Today you can have a car if you are over 18, but the day next you can get a breakdown. Breakdown in your car. The same happens with emotions. Today you can be the happiest person in this place. But tomorrow, you can be the most sad person in the world. Another example. Today, you can fall in love for someone in this place. <laughs> but from tomorrow, you can hate as hell <laughs> the same person. <laughs> I know it happens. So I can't define, I can't define you and I if I am rich and tomorrow I have no money, I can't define myself using what I have. Because you are a human person. Are you a human, per human person? Or are you a Tesla robot, something like that? Chat GPT using, downloading in your mind. Let's resume that. The world can lie to us, saying who we are, right? But they can also lie to us, saying who we should be. So saying that, we are talking about influence. In 2008, let me tell you a story. 2008, Amandinha, you were from 2008, isn't it? In 2008, I was starting my high school. High school is something like A levels in Brazil, okay? A levels is two years, isn't it? Okay, in Brazil it's three. So I was starting my first year in the high school, the I -le Brazilian A levels. And I said, okay, let's do it. And then my, my father come to, came to me and said, Nicholas, you are going to study twice a day. I said, what? And he said, yes. So choose a technician course and you, you're gonna do it. I said, oh, no way. And then in the same year, 2008, I started to study a course, a technician course of to be an electrician. I'm saying, right, electrician. So for two years, two years, I was waking up 7 a.m. Oh, sorry. I was starting the study 7 a.m. in the school, in the high school. And in the midday, when the school was finished, I used to go straight to the technician course from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Almost, almost. 12 hours a day studying without lunch. <laughs> I, I had no lunch those days. Yes, I was so skinny, you can't believe it. I had to walk for those two years, five kilometers to and back. Under sun, cold, rain, and even, believe, believe me or not, storm. There was a day the road was floating, floating, that thing, <laughs> a lot of water, <laughs> and I was going by walk, and I used to wear some boots, like, like protection boots, what, yeah, I don't know what it's, but, and the water come inside, came inside, and I got full of water, when I arrived in that place, I took out my boots, got my socks, and wow, smelling so bad from that day. Yeah, believe me, I was 15. When I graduated in that course, two years after, I said, wow, woo, finally. Just one more year left thing, and then that's it, job done, and then my father came to me and said, Nicholas, congr congratulations, I'm proud of you, but now you have to pick up another course, so choose another one. I said, oh 
my day seriously. Yeah. And I start studying again, IT technician for the next one year and a half. Even with these two courses, my father was pushing me to do engineering university after that. So I said, no, dad, I'm sorry, but let me do something I would like to work with in the future. And then I became a marketing guy. How many times, what I'm saying that, how many times I wore the outfit my friends told me to wear? How many times I lied to my parents because I was following my friends and doing stuff that my parents didn't allow me to do? In 2020, it's a shame, but I was following, I used to be a believer. Do you know what is a believer? Yeah, believe me, is this what you, you were thinking? I was a big fan of Justin Bieber. <laughs> yes, I changed my haircut. Oh, sorry? No, I didn't put. I changed my haircut to what? White one. But one day I was watching a docu documentary, documentary, Do documentary, documentary of Justin Bieber on YouTube, and I got a soft depression. Because I was trying to be that guy. And I could feel what he was feeling. So he was sad. I became sad. He was so quiet. I became quiet. And, you, and who knows me knows that I like to talk. Is this true? I'm getting better. AKA Pastor Andre. <laughs> Yeah, and then I, I stopped talking to Giovanna. And then I realized what I'm doing. What I'm trying to be. 2019, Giovanna and I, we, we were following a guy, a controversial, controversial? Controversial influencer in Brazil. He's a billionaire. But he has some ideas so weird. We were following him. We were trying to, to make the same investments, the same aggressive attitude to close a deal with a company, to offer our jobs. And then after that, Jesus just asked us, why? Do you still have your Bible with you? Huh? Okay. Let's open. Let me go forward. Uh, okay. Romans chapter 1, verse 24. Did you find? Okay. It says, so God said, in effect, if that's what you want, that's what you get. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop here. What it means? The worst thing God can do to me and to you is let us, let us live our life how we want to live. This is the worst thing. Following our desire, our wishes. Let's back to the first one. I, Paul, I am a what? Devoted slave of Jesus Christ. When I read this verse, I can see an influential man, Jewish, who studied hard to be a Pharisee. Pharisee, is this correct? Pharisee? The same Paul, who was famous already, was calling himself as a slave of Jesus. <laughs> the incredible thing is, imagine how he is to be a slave. Can you imagine that? I think you studied this in a school in history, isn't it? Imagine how hard is it? I've asked to ChatGPT 
Chat GPT, tell me, what is a slave? I know what it is. And he said, being a slave means that a person is forced to work for someone else or a group of people without their cho choice. And usually without getting paid fairly for their work. This takes away the person's freedom and they are treated like they belong to someone else, like an object. Instead of being treated with dignity, dignity? Dignity and respect as a human being. <laughs> so if be a slave is so worse, so deplorable, how can Paul call himself a slave? Imagine that. When God creates man, he gives a proof. Come on, guys. When God creates man, Adam, he, he gave a proof of his love. We call it by free will. Have a life with Jesus is so awesome that Paul chose a life as a slave of Jesus. Where is the free will? Jesus is not asking us to be a slave, okay? Okay? But Paul used to be a slave before. He used to be a slave of re re religiosity, being Jewish, pursuing Christians. So he knew that. He knew he spent his life being a slave of lots of bad stuff that influence and now he was choosing to live to live a life as a slave of Jesus by his choice okay guys this is the introduction let's go to the message okay have you seen that this phrase for those who don't know where they are going, any path will do, will work. Do you know that? There is, there is anyone here who doesn't speak Portuguese? Ok. Para quem não sabe onde quer ir, isso aqui é caminho serve. Ok? We can change the same phrase for this one. Oh, sorry. This one. For those who do not have parameters and values and influence works. Let me give you an example. Who knows Andrew Tate? <laughs> I got you. I asked ChatGPT. ChatGPT, who is Andrew Tate? And the chat GPT replied me, Andrew Tate is a former world kickboxing champion, social media influencer, and a controversial figure on social media. In addition to his kickboxing achievements, he is known for his videos, posts, and controversial statements that often sparks deba debates debates and controversies. Tate, Andrew Tate, describes himself as a Christian, mm -hmm. claims to influence many young people, like you guys, <laughs> with his opinions and relations of relationship, masculinity and lifestyle, making him and even more polarizing figure in the online world, attracting more and more followers. I know there's some guys here tonight who knows Andrew Tate, and I know there is some people who doesn't even know who is Andrew Tate, right? Right? Okay. I did some research 
about a couple sayings, a couple phrases that Andre Tate says. Let's have a look. The first one. Life, Andre Tate says this, this, all right? Life is too short to a waste it doing something you hate. Find your passion and pursue, pursue it with everything you have got. What the Bible says about it. James chapter 1, verse 2 and 2, 4. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. 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 <laughs> Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Next one. Psalms, 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 Psalms 37, verse 5. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him and he will help you. A mm. couple different. Just a little bit different. Another phrase from Andrew Tate. Money is not the root of all evil. The lack of money is the root of all evil. Seek prosperity and financial freedom. What the Bible says. Let's have a look. First... Timothy chapter 6 verse 10 for the love love of money is the root of all kinds of evil and some people craving money have wandered from the true faith and first themselves first pierced themselves with many sorrows next one proverbs chapter 11 verse 28 trust in your money and down you go but the godly flourish but the godly flourish like leaves in the spring next one Luke chapter 12 verse 15 then he said beware guard against every kind of greed life is not measured by how much you own. So in one hand, we have an influencer, controversial one, saying, money is not the root of the of evil. The lack, when you miss money, is the root. Jesus says, guys, when you love money, this is the root of all evil. Put your heart on me, not in the money. Trust on me. Let's finish then. I'd like to tell you one last option. We said free, free lives. Who remember that? What is the first one? We are what we do. Perfect. The second one, we are what we get. Woo. And the last one, we are what we have. I want to give you one more option. To be honest, there's no more options at all. Just this one. To be Guys, to be who God created us to be. Live a life or be someone who God wants us to be. For example, you can get an iPhone. You can get an iPhone. Oh, you like that, huh? This case. Soon. Coming soon. 
I have to try to understand how it works. Do you know how your phone works? Do you know that? Who has an iPhone? Okay. So imagine you are trying to understand how it works, what is the purpose? The easiest way to discover how it works is to talk, talk with the creator. So we have to call Steve Jobs. Oh, but Steve Jobs passed away. Oh boy. But he left something, a manual, instructions. And if you want to go deep, what we can do, the purpose and everything, we can read the manual. Have you ever read that? Read that? No, never. Any manual from nothing. Okay. What I'm saying that? Because if you want to understand who you are, what is your purpose? You have to ask the Creator. You have to try to find the purpose, your purpose, the reason why you are here tonight with the Creator. And He has left one manual to us. Which one? The Bible. We saw Anna performed here before. And it was like the same what happened to us every single day. We can get lost in the middle of the social media noises. Arrobas in Portuguese. We can get lost. There's so much noise, 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 noise. People saying, oh, <laughs> to be beautiful, you have to be skinny. You have to be, you have to be fitness. You have to get some muscles. You have to drink some juice. <laughs> Fake natty. Do you know that? It doesn't drink very well. There's another, how do you say that in English? At. <laughs> There's another other ad saying, you know what? Good people has money. Bad people deplorable. Good people wear dress like this, not like my one. Oh, uh, if you want to get some boy have to wear the underwear showing your back. <laughs> I know what am I talking about. If you want to get a boy, you have to woo, pretend to be sexy. <laughs> If you want to get a girl, oh boy, you have to wear Jordans. So buy Jordans, buy Jordans. You have to wear a uh, chain, is, is it chain? Ne necklace? Nicholas? <laughs> you have to make tattoos. You have to get a good car. You have to ah, have the best iPhone. You have to shave your beard. Your, your beard, beard. I am what the Bible says I am, that I am. And we can know or not what the Bible says about us, what God says that we are. But guys, listen up finishing we have we all have a great skill to start following random people <laughs> is this true or not we have the great skill 
to start following broken people. Or maybe for the society, for the world eyes, successful people. In the end, Jesus say, says in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 8, verse 36, and what do you benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your own soul? Can you stand up? Close your eyes for a minute. Keep your eyes closed. Forget, forget the people beside you. Surrounding you. Give you a deep breath. to follow the rules, the guides that the world is offering to us, isn't it? Keep your eyes closed. You must to have this money to be someone. You must to wear this to be someone. You must to wear this hype to be someone. You must to pretend be someone to be someone. You must to give yourself to someone, to be someone. You must to get with someone, to be someone. You must to, you must to, you must to, lots of you must to. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, Jesus says to us, <laughs> this is a letter of love from Jesus to us close your eyes and imagine Jesus saying it to you straight to you are you tired burn it out on religion are you tired Lots of lies who is surrounding you. Are you trying? Are you tired to keep trying to become someone? Following rules, following rules, following guides, following broken people. Are you tired? So come to me. Get away with me and you will recover your life your life i'll show you how to take a real rest walk with me and work with me watch how i do it learn the enforced rhythms of grace i won't lie anything or ill fitting on you. Keep company with me and you will learn to live freely and lightly. Put your hand on your heart. I'd like to invite you to come up front. You know how it works. If you are tired, If it's, it's been hard to follow the social media, follow the influencers, and, and then in the school, back in the school, if you don't follow those rules, you'll be separated from your friends, of your friends. Come on, guys. Forget who is watching.
continue. You can be an example. Keep your eyes closed and help someone who is trying to come here. There's no magician, magic stuff. There's nothing magical if you come to a front. But when you come, you are saying to you, I can do it. Tá cansado de viver uma coisa na escola? Tá cansado de viver uma coisa entre os seus amigos? E aí quando chega na igreja você vive algo diferente? E aí você tem que ficar colocando máscaras? E aí você tem que ficar sustentando mentiras? para parecer que você é uma boa pessoa? Você tá cansado disso? O mesmo Jesus, ele falou assim, eu sou o caminho, a verdade e a vida. Isso é muito importante. Feche os seus olhos. Eu sou o caminho Lembra que eu falei uma, uma última e única opção Que é a gente ser Quem Deus escolheu a gente para ser A gente foi criado para isso A gente foi criado para ser filho dele se você ficar batendo a cabeça, se você fica ansioso, se você fica nervoso quando você não sabe o que você vai fazer do seu futuro, é porque você nunca leu um manual, ou você nunca perguntou para o Criador qual que é o seu objetivo. E aí você fica se comparando com o que o mundo em sua volta está falando que você deve ser. Mentira. Gracias. 
Deus que ainda não recebeu Jesus no seu coração e que gostaria de preencher Ele com o verdadeiro amor com a verdade que vem dEle existe alguém nessa noite cansado de viver mentira e gostaria de receber Jesus no seu coração levanta a mão, eu quero, quero ver você tem alguém aqui nessa noite que por algum motivo e tudo bem se perdeu no meio do caminho mas que também está cansado e gostaria de voltar para o caminho de, e gostaria de voltar para Jesus levanta sua mão eu quero ver você amém Jesus conta continue com seus olhos fechados Jesus conta uma história para a gente na Bíblia de um filho sem mais nem menos olhou para o pai pegou as coisas dele pediu tudo o que ele achava que ele tinha direito saiu correndo foi viver uma vida foi viajar saiu de férias em agosto e aí ele descobriu que tudo aquilo não passava de uma grande mentira e aí ele lembrou que existia um, que existe um pai que ama ele e esse pai existe ele está aqui hoje <risos> ele está aqui hoje como que isso é verdade, porque quando Jesus está falando do filho pródigo, quando o filho volta o pai faz uma festa ele só está falando de algo que acontece naturalmente toda vez que alguém fala quero estar de volta nisso Jesus, eu quero você de volta nesse momento a gente vai cantar e eu gostaria de convidar você para fazer essa 
essa música, essa oração. Amém? Vamos cantar isso junto? Se alguém que não era, eu errei. Me perdoa. Vamos caminhar junto. Isso é igreja. Isso é chamado de igreja. Onde pessoas cometem erros. Só que quando elas encontram um caminho, a.k.a. Jesus, eles entendem a verdade. Eles entendem quem eles são.
amo vocês, pessoal. E a gente se vê segunda-feira. Então vamos sair da uma academy. Não é de home em casa, não na próxima quarta, na próxima. E no dia 29 aqui de novo. Amém? Se você quiser conversar comigo, se você precisa conversar com alguém, tem a Giovana, tem a Gia, tem a Gabi, tem Cadu, tem Cíntia, tem um monte de gente que já passou por 